As a result, it's possible to download or update games in the background or even with the main power off. And we're taking this one step further. On PlayStation 4, digital titles are playable even as they are being downloaded. When you purchase a title, you download just a fraction of the data and begin playing. The rest of the data is downloaded in the background as you continue to play the game. Our next key principle is social. There's no doubt that play is no longer an isolated pastime. Social play is so important to PlayStation 4 that we've added in hardware to support it in the form of dedicated, always-on video compression and decompression systems. Now, to illustrate the next few points, I'm going to show you various aspects of the PS4 user interface, which is a complete redesign over what we have today on PlayStation 3. Part of what this dedicated video compression and decompression hardware does is it enables seamless uploadings of recordings of gameplay. Just hit the share button on the controller, scan through the last few minutes of gameplay, pick a portion, tag it, and return to your game. The, uh, the video will upload as you continue play. Our goal is to make the sharing of video as popular in the PlayStation 4 generation as the sharing of screenshots is today. And the same hardware enhances visibility of gameplay. You can browse uh, live game video of what your friends are doing at that exact moment or spectate the gameplay of a famous person within your gaming universe. You can even see that your friend is in trouble and reach out through the network to take over the controller and assist them through some difficult portion of the game. And on PlayStation 4, we are transitioning to a friends network based on real-world friends. We'll keep around the, the alias and the icon used in today's multiplayer matches. These are great to have when anonymity is important. But most of the new social dimension to PlayStation 4 will be interacting with friends using real names and profile pictures, most likely seeded from your existing social network. And this social network isn't visible only from within the console UI. PlayStation 4 is designed to be a highly integrated platform, seamlessly interconnected across the network to the full PlayStation ecosystem, as well as to key third-party devices and services. Applications on smartphones and tablets, as well as uh, net uh, web platforms and Vita, will allow PlayStation 4 conversations to be carried far beyond the living room. You can use your smartphone to browse game video of possible opponents in your favorite fighting game and challenge them to matches. Companion applications on PlayStation Vita or your tablet will add another dimension to the experience and allow you to keep in touch with the evolving world of your game regardless of your location. And our final ambition with PlayStation 4 is personalization. The concept that the system can get to know you and bring you closer to the games and other experience that you're seeking. Personalization is a key design principle of the PlayStation 4 interface. You're just a button press away from the latest news about your game titles or uh, interactions with your friends. But as the system learns your, your likes and dislikes, we can take this a step further. You'll discover content preloaded and ready to go on your console by your favorite uh, creator or in your favorite genre. Our long-term vision is download times of digital titles to zero. If we know enough about you to predict the next game you'll purchase, then that game can be loaded and ready to go before you even click the buy button. So, in conclusion, an informed system architecture was fundamental to the creation of PlayStation 4. It is and always has been our goal to deliver play that is deeply satisfying. And in order to do that, we knew we would need to design to the dreams and ambitions of the developers who create the content that game players crave. And we knew that these game players would expect uh, ease of access, simplicity, and control over the content and their experiences, and that a successful new platform would need to not only meet, but also exceed their expectations. We've therefore taken a deeply consumer-focused and developer-centric approach to the design of the PlayStation 4, resulting in gaming experiences that evolve and ensuring that PlayStation continues to offer the best place to play. As a developer and creator, and certainly as a gamer, I'm thrilled about the vast potential of the PS4 to empower new and even more compelling game experiences. And that's the end of my section of today's presentation. Thank you very much for your time.